Precision Pank is uh, really been a network of uh, researchers, both clinical and, and in fact, more importantly, scientists over the last four to five years, really starting from its inception in uh, Australia. Uh, and actually now with a lot of the work being done here in Glasgow and in a number of other centres within the, within the UK. And really what it is trying to do is to try and actually tease out the variability within pancreatic cancer patients. Up till now it's really been very much um, thought of as a standard pancreatic adenocarcinoma, but we know that that's clearly not the case. We have patients that respond well, we have patients that respond less well. and the work that's been done through a number of uh, publications in uh, 2015 and 2016 uh, in Nature have shown that actually there are specific subtypes of pancreatic adenocarcinoma and importantly within that some very uh, potentially attractive targets for novel drugs coming through. The challenge within that though is that to actually have the um, the, the actual results, so in terms of having these, these detailed molecular analysis, what we're really talking about is whole gene sequencing, is a, both a laborious and expensive process. And what we're trying to do within the Precision Pank platform is actually take that from what is really a scientific uh, tool uh, done at the molecular level within the laboratory to actually being clinically applicable, so to having these results back within a meaningful time scale to allow clinicians to actually make better choices for their patients. Uh, and, to allow the, and then therefore hopefully to allow patients to be enrolled into studies where you think there's a better chance of them having a, a good outcome. So the first, uh, the first aspect of this is really to just try and get better uh, tissue from the patients and actually to be able to hopefully have a number of patients where you can have whole genomic sequencing uh, really within real time and that's what the first aspect of this of the precision pack is within the within the master protocol of that, which is looking at patients being recruited really at the time of diagnosis, so even before they've had their biopsy. So potentially patients sitting uh, with their surgeon, with their gastroenterologist, having a, a suspicious scan and actually signing consent at that point to have additional biopsies taken, which can then go on and be sequenced. So actually getting these things done in a meaningful time, rather than six weeks down the line where they're then seen by their oncologist and then having to go back again for a further biopsy, which clearly, if we're talking about a cancer in which a number of you know, 50% of patients are dead within six months, that's time that these patients do not have. So what, we, what we're, we're hoping to do and say the, the studies are really just in the process of starting. They involve a collaboration of funding with the Cancer Research UK and the company Celgene is to actually show that this can be done in a clinical, clinical meaningful time.